groups of rotation. So we know rectangular plate of side length L. Length is, this is L by 2. L by 2. This is B by 2. B by 2 mass M and this is the origin. I want the angular momentum of this particle. Find the angular momentum of the lamina about C. Find angular momentum of lamina about point C or about O. Look at angular velocity. Angular, there's a sensor of rotation. Shall I put omega like this? It will be better. It will be on the safer side. Omega, it is not about y axis. It is rotating about some angle. So let me define this as theta. Let's get into the problem. What is the angular velocity about x axis? Lamina about point O, which is rotating about axis PP dash. Mm. I'll write it. I find angular term of lamina about point O, which is rotating about an axis PP dash. I think fine. No, uh, some of you are asking, sir, what is the axis of rotation? Among which uh, the direction along which the omega is directed, that is the axis of rotation. So I'll, I'll proceed like this here. So first, let me calculate angular velocity about x-axis, omega cos theta. So can you resolve omega? Omega is a vector. It's an axial vector. So I can resolve. Then what is the moment of inertia about x-axis? mb squared by 12 about y-axis, ml squared by 12. Is it okay? Already we have discussed moment of inertia of this ram, lamina about x-axis, mb squared by 12. So the L will not come. I think we did check it once calculation. About y-axis, it should be ml squared by 12. Then angular momentum about x-axis. Angular momentum about x-axis should be equal to ix into omega x. This should be equal to mb squared 12 omega cos theta high cap. omega cos theta j cap. Then what is the resultant angular momentum? The resultant angular momentum is given by Lx bar plus Ly bar. I think total diagram is available. Yeah. Try to see now. What is L bar is equal to Lx bar plus Ly bar. This will be equal to mb square 12 omega cos theta i cap mb square by 12 omega both are this is sine theta no sine theta j cap i think m m l square by 12 omega m omega 12 you can take outside b square also mb square omega 12 you can take outside so cos theta i cap sin theta j uh, is it along omega bar how, how you define omega bar oh some 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 wait wait what is i y i y is l l square I'll, I'll 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 make correction L square it is here, B square, no, o omega bound how you define, omega cos theta i cap, now look at now, is it L bar along omega bar, that's what the primary question I'm asking, 
let's do one thing we'll calculate angle between l bar and omega because we are we are not very sure to be frank sir like we are in confused state okay then how to do there should be some method so let, let me do one thing how to find out angle between vectors l bar is a vector omega bar is a vector so i i know l bar and omega bar i'll go for dot product that's the better idea so what is it cos phi is equal to l bar dot omega bar by l omega magnitude substitute here you will get that angle if you get this equal to zero so then what when l bar and omega in same direction if you get this non zero then there is some angle will i agree this i think this is the best way of analyzing this is the best way of analyzing or uh, i want component of l bar along pp dash so I'll, what is the question asked so if you want you can do this angle or directly let me ask get into the question because let me find angular momentum of lambda about point 2 which is rotating about axis p that that, that i got it so now i'll ask question find that co <coughs> component of angular momentum about axis p p dash about point 2 is this much about axis p p dash how much i don't know that one so that i'll find out angular momentum about p p dash so that should be l bar no it is not l bar how to calculate that one so what is this angular momentum component of angular momentum along axis pp dash so are you able to understand so don't don't think that that l bar is along omega bar so strictly i'll say that l bar is not along omega bar i think this is something very important so how do you can see i think it's quite natural because i know enough of unit vectors concept so therefore when l bar is not along omega bar how much of l bar along the axis how to calculate that how to calculate that i'll take the dot product i'll take the dot product so what dot product which says i'll go for dot product so dot product says l bar dot omega equal to l omega cos theta so what is needed l cos so like l cos phi Uh, what is cos phi angle between l bar and omega bar so what is l cos phi component of l bar along axis here so therefore this will be l pp dash should be equal to l cos phi which will be equal to l bar dot omega bar by omega i think all of you know how to take dot product check it no l pp dash is not equal to l that much i can see l pp dash is not equal to l that one okay try try this and that this will be so no is it okay no so it's not that rule that l should be along omega it It should, it should not be written that one. So, sir, then uh, okay, I'll, I'll take you back. But sir, you said here L among omega. I think it all depends upon the how that body is oriented and how the body is being rotated. Agreed. How that body is being rotated based on that. So, here, here strictly, what you can say, L is L bar is. Parallel to omega bar. So, sir, how do I come to know? See, how do I come to know means what happened? You have to check it here now. Now, you you look at the angular momentum of this small particle. How it is L, along the point of suspension. So, L is parallel to omega when you integrate. So, what about here? How is omega? Omega is in this direction. Check it now. Angular momentum. It is not along omega. so therefore what happen in every numerical you should make observation first what is omega direction of omega calculate l bar check the direction of l bar and omega it need not be always this one and when you can uh, when you can write l is equal to i omega when l is equal to i omega when you can write when l bar is 
pallet omega so again shall we put a condition again shall we put a condition that uh, the formula l equal to i omega when it is defined when l bar is parallel to omega when it is not parallel to omega you should use vector concept okay let me take the another question i think about the rotating rigid body i'm just uh, trying to give some basic picture let me give one more condition you have to work out huh? this you have to calculate please calculate huh? i am just leaving it here 